What's going on, everybody? I got the phone a little close because I'm trying to talk. I'm outside of Walmart um, in Mesquite, Texas. Um, my, I uh, told you I'd let you know what was going on. I'm trying to look out for the cab as well. Um, my first day in orientation with Stevens Transport, honestly, it was a fucking nightmare. I mean, they are so unorganized. It was just one big clusterfuck. Uh, nobody knew where to go. Everybody's talking over everybody. One trainer or one instructor would tell you to to do this, and then you, all of us would head down there, and then the other would be like, no, you don't need to be here. You need to walk back over there. And then that guy would be like, what are you doing over here? Well, then if they didn't want you over there to do your 45 test, um, go do your, your uh, you know, some other fucking test, or, and then you're done with that. It, it's just a nightmare. Um, I'm not impressed at all so far with this organization skills they got here for, for this orientation. Um, ran into some other complications as well. They pull, they pull all the experienced drivers aside um, because it is a, a place where they'll, they'll train for CDLs, for their CDL driver as well. So they have a list of who has experience, an experienced driver. So they pull this aside. It was only a, a four of us out of like 30. Um, so they pull us aside. We go down there and kind of like a little interview. Well, I have stated before that I had taken four years off of truck driving. Um, went in the pest control business, tried it out. It's not for me. I can't make it work. So I'm going back into truck driving. Went with Jupa Trucking for a little over a week. Was running loads for FedEx. Wanted me to do illegal shit. I told them all that. Over the phone with the recruiter, she was, you know, told me a bunch of shit. So I get here and they pull me in there for this little interview. And he's like, well, I don't know. You had four years off. You might, uh, you might have to go back into trucking school. And I said, what? I said, I don't think so. That, that's not what I was told. And I said, for one, I've had my CDL for 16 years. I said, I have over eight years experience driving. I said, why the fuck would I go back into school and have to pay eight grand for it? Oh, well, they might help you out with it. I said, I don't care if they pay for it. I'm not going back into truck driving school and spending the next three, four fucking months, you know, making shit. I said, no. And he says, well, we're going to see how you... Uh, we're going to see how your road test does, and we'll see how they evaluate you and how you do, and then we'll go from there. And I said, I said I'm telling you right now, if, it, if that's what they want me to do, I might as well hang it up because it ain't happening. Um, I'm an experienced driver. You know, I've driven flatbed, reefer, van, tanker. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. So that's telling me that they just want to suck money out of me and... Uh, that ain't gonna happen. So I come here because I I was hearing a lot of good things about Stevens Transport, and I think I'll actually like it once you get your foot in the door. But these fucking hoops and shit they're trying to pull because of their safety record is really tight. Um, and we're just not gonna throw you back out there for you know having four years off. I said yeah, but I just went back in a truck and was doing Midwest and uh, Midwest runs and East Coast runs for FedEx. Um, but we're not just going to throw you back in there. You'd have to at least do something. But So they're going to evaluate me. So I don't even know if I'm going to fucking be here or not because of the fact that, I mean, anybody that drives a truck, it, you're experienced. I mean, you took some time off for a bigger company. I can see them wanting to, you know, give you a little refresher course, make sure you know how to drive up and down a mountain or something that you're not pulling their legs or anything. But... Man, go back to truck driving school, you fucking crazy. Yeah, and then, anyways, and here's some other bullshit, man. And the damn email they sent me, it says, you know, everything to bring to be prepared. Well, and for footwear, it says work shoes or boots. So I brought my shoes instead of my boots. I've got boots at the house. 
Well, that's why I'm at Walmart, because, hey, if you guys don't bring boots tomorrow, you can't get it in and out of the truck, because their policy is you got to have fucking boots on when you're driving the truck and when you get in and out of the fucking truck. So I had to come to Walmart, buy me some goddamn work shoes that have steel toe, because that's their policy. So, you know, it's 39 bucks. I didn't need them. I have them at home. And, uh... In order to get through the day-to-day, they have what they call a boot closet. And it's basically fucking shoes that other motherfuckers have worn. And if you didn't wear them, then you couldn't finish your day out. And if you miss one day of orientation, you got to fucking make up that day next week. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just throw away the socks and soles. I'll go to Walmart and buy me some fucking spray and uh, some shoes. And I won't have to deal with this shit. But I'm telling you, I ain't impressed at all one bit. It ain't nothing like standing around watching somebody trying to do a straight line back for 15 fucking minutes or doing a 45 or going around the parking lot so goddamn slow and fucking grandma on your fucking wheelchair can push yourself faster than this motherfucker because he's scared. And, no, you know, no, nothing against them because they're learning. They're, you know, they're there because they just got their CDL through the company and they're getting ready to go with the trainer. I just, I feel like I'm getting fucked here just because I had four years off. Got back into a truck for a week and a half, two weeks, and now I'm here. I felt, I thought I was doing the right thing by, you know, not wanting to run illegal because this company was pushing me to do so. But now I feel like I'm getting fucked. So I don't know, the next couple of days are going to be up in the air if I'm even going to be an employee at Stevens Transport. I mean, I can be an employee if I want to go back to truck driving school, but I I never went to truck driving school to begin with. I was grandfathered in 16 years ago. Um, And I won't. I won't. There's no fucking way. Fucking eight plus years in the road, over the road experience. I'm not not doing it. That just doesn't make no fucking sense to me. Uh, So, so far, uh, so far I'm not impressed. There's so much miscommunication there, it's ridiculous, um, I don't, you've got, like I said before, you've got trainers and trainers and shit just talking over each other, and one's telling you to do something, and the other's telling you to do the opposite, and the other's telling you to do this and that, and it just makes absolutely no fucking sense, so, um, oh, here's the thing, I'm sitting here standing, right, this, Texas fucking sun, and there's no shade or nothing, I'm just waiting my turn to do this 45 back, which I didn't get to do today, because we ran out of fucking time, I gotta do it some other time, but so I said, I'm the curb, man, open my phone up, and this trainer comes over, he goes, hey man, you gotta stand up, put your phone away, they treat that, they treat this like a military setting, I'm like, what, he was like, yeah, there's cameras everywhere, you got to, st- they don't want you on your phone, and they do tell you not on your phone, but that was in the classroom, not standing around waiting for somebody to fucking figure out how to do a 45 back, anyways, so I'm sitting there, and he tells me this, and so, you know, I'm, I'm about to blow up, so I've learned from my past experiences, I'm in a situation, I need to swallow my pride, and I need to just walk over there where he told me to walk, where I need to stand for the next, you know, I've already been standing for like two fucking hours, so let me stand some more, um, so I look over to the left, I watch him go away, and lo and behold, three fucking trainers sitting on the curb with their phones on, and these trainers are supposed to be watching people fucking do this, right, so they got two students in the truck, no trainer around to watch them do all this, so yeah, not impressed at all so far. Yeah. That really kind of pissed me off. It was just, it's almost like a, hey, you know, this motherfucker that's a trainer, he's probably ain't even had his CDL for fucking two years. You're know, talking to me like he's some, you know, oh, I, I was mad, but I didn't show it because I'm in a situation where I need to be calm. So I was calm and did what I was told. Um, but yeah, so far, no good. But I'll keep you guys updated. I'm waiting on this fucking cab so I can go back to the motel. I still got a shower. I got me a salad while I was here. Got me some peaches. Let's see. Got some peaches. Got me a salad, some pineapple. Anybody that knows me knows I love my fucking vitamin D milk. And I told you, 
I got some foot spray because uh, these shoes that I got on that are really comfortable are going to get sprayed to fucking shit. The socks are getting thrown away. The soles are coming out and getting sprayed. And then I got my shoes. So I won't have to go to the fucking boot closet tomorrow. What a fucking joke. But anyways, alright, I'll keep you updated on day two. Later.